Producing over 500 hours per week of talk radio, GCN Live is a world leader in talk radio. Archives for the following program can be found at GCNlive.com. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and to your health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 28 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne and psoriasis and eczema and rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. Let us help you change your life today. Let us help you change the lives of loved ones and friends and workmates and family members as well. If you have questions about prescription drugs, medications, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, questions about the longevity products, health conditions, skin care, skin care ingredients, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, our number is 855-660-4261. That's 855-660-4261. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head over to my website, brightsideben.com, and pull down on the shopping cart all the all the Longevity products, including the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Beyond Organic products are all up at brightsideben.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. If you're interested in joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $10 fee, you can start yourself a longevity business, earn some thank you checks as well, help change people's lives, help change your life as well. Get your products at the wholesale price, make some money while you're at it, and uh, folks can tell you all about it at 866-735-2470. Uh, that's uh, the Brightside Ben phone team phone number. Or you can also click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com brightsideben.com. For you guys who are interested in joining me and my friend Dixie on our weekly phone calls, we do uh, we do weekly phone calls every Sunday, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. We cover a different health subject, and we try to incorporate the longevity products into the discussion as well. You can direct your clients or customers or potential customers to the phone call, 605-562-3140 is the number. It's every Sunday, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. We did beta-glucan last Sunday, and I think we're, gonna, we're going to get into some Ebola stuff this coming Sunday. I'm going to talk a little bit about Ebola this morning, too. The dial-in number every Sunday is 605, Sunday, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, Sunday, 605-562-3140. Participant access code 444-973-POUND, 444-973-POUND. Okay, yesterday we left off talking about our antiviral nutritional strategies, which is a slight digression from our discussion on prostaglandins. We've been talking about prostaglandins now for a few weeks. Prostaglandins are those miraculous, instantaneously acting chemicals that make things happen in the body. Pretty much all degenerative diseases, all inflammatory diseases, all immune issues have some kind of prostaglandin connection. Prostaglandin deficiencies are not unheard of. They're not uncommon. And they are associated with lots of health issues. I say slight digression because there's an important connection between prostaglandins and the immune system and the immune response and the body's ability to protect itself from viruses. In any case, 
The drumbeat about Ebola seems to be getting louder and louder and louder. No surprise there. That's the way this, these things work. First, uh, the, 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 the media, the mainstream media will give you a little, a little mention here and there, and then it gets bigger. The drumbeat gets louder and louder and louder. Now we got breaking news. Connecticut governor declares a state of emergency due to Ebola. The state of Connecticut has become, this is from uh, CNN, the state, of Kimono, uh, the state of Connecticut has become the first to declare a state of public health emergency over the possibility of an Ebola virus outbreak in the United States. How many... How many victims of Ebola uh, are, live in Connecticut? How much Ebola is in Connecticut? Nothing. There's no Ebola in Connecticut. This is just a more government meddling, more interference. There's no, nobody has Ebola in Connecticut. Nobody in the entire country, with the exception of a nurse and possibly her boyfriend in Texas, has contracted Ebola in the United States. What is going on, people? This is craziness. Ebola is a weak virus. I said it before. I'll say it again. I said yesterday. Ebola is a weak virus. This is craziness. We don't have to buy into this nonsense. And we don't need governments or their lapdog errand boys of the medical model or the medical mafia interfering in our lives to, quote, protect us. Keeping viruses and bacteria and infections out of the body is not the job of the government. It's not the job of your doctor. It's not the job of anybody. It's our job. And all we have to do is support this divine mechanism that we call the immune system, this divine mechanism that we all possess, that we all own, that has been designed divinely or by evolution, however you want to look at it, designed to withstand assaults from pathogens, microbes, bacteria, and viruses. What we need to be figuring out is, number one, how to build the immune system, how to strengthen it, and number two, how not to suppress it. In fact, how not to suppress it is probably the most important thing we could do if we're worried about any virus, not just Ebola, herpes, and shingles, and the flu virus, and hepatitis C. Why do you think there's these drugs out that cost $1,000 a pill to deal with hepatitis C? It's because we don't understand how to maximize and how to optimize the, the, the unbelievably, unbelievably, massively incredible system in the body that's called the immune system. So what do we do? How do you build the immune system? Well, for, from, a physical, from a physical perspective, keep in mind there's mental strategies, emotional strategies, and yes, spiritual strategies as well to maintaining health and to building a strong immune system. In a way, the immune system is kind of spiritual when you think about it. The immune system is the is the, uh, the, the way we detect the enemy, the not-self. It's the distinction between self and not-self, or it creates a, a boundary between self and not-self. And in a way, the immune system or immune problems are some kind of breakdown in the distinction between who we are and who, what is outside of our bodies. And then from a mental perspective and an emotional perspective, every time we think a crappy thought, our immune system becomes suppressed. This is not some kind of new age gobbledygook. When we think a crappy thought, our cortisol levels go up, our stress hormone levels go up, stress hormone shuts down the immune system. Cortisol acts to suppress immunity. That's why you use a hydrocortisone cream if you have a, a, an immune reaction. That's why they give you prednisone if you have an immune disease. It suppresses the immune system. Prednisone is a pharmacological version of cortisol, the body's natural stress hormones. The stress system, the, the uh, body's adrenal stress system, which is, which is uh, uh, represented by the stress hormone cortisol, largely, shuts down immunity. So relaxing, not thinking lousy thoughts, not feeling lousy feelings, the whole mental and emotional aspects of health have to be addressed and have to be recognized if we're going to build or keep our immune system from being suppressed and maintain, maintain a strong immune system that can maintain this barrier between self and not self. From a physical perspective, breathing, keeping sugar intake low. In fact, keeping sugar intake low is probably the single most important strategy we can use, not just for building the immune system, but for overall health, for longevity, for any kind of uh, reducing any kind of uh, physical symptoms of distress, keeping sugar intake down. And oatmeal is sugar, and cereal is sugar, and bagels are sugar, and oranges and apples and watermelon is sugar, and fruit juice is sugar, and desserts and cakes and pasta and all those kinds of foods are sugar. Keeping sugar intake low is job number one to strengthen the immune system. Why doesn't the, uh, the governor of Connecticut, I don't hear him mention anything about sugar. I hear him talking about quarantining. I hear him talking about, uh, what does it say here? He will how, uh, he, uh, he's going to give state health officials the authority necessary to 
prevent any potential transmission of the Ebola virus within the state of Connecticut. In other words, the authority to quarantine and isolate people who he believes reasonably have been exposed to the Ebola virus. All right, I'm Fire Mr. Spen. We're coming back with more good health information right after. On the bright side, I am Pharmacist Ben. If you're in Olean, New York, or in the area, Buffalo, New York area, I'll be doing a talk for my friend Jonathan Smith this Tuesday, a week from today, uh, October the 21st, 7 p.m., at the Century Manor Grill House, 401 East State Street. Uh, give Jonathan a call if you're interested in checking it out to RSVP. His number is 646 258 646 And again, that's at the Century Manor Grill House, 401 State Street in Olean, New York. Zip is 14760 if you're interested in uh, map questing that. And it is uh, next Tuesday, October the 21st for my buddy Jonathan in Olean, New York. Hope to see you out there. Okay, our number today is 855-660-4261. Got a couple lines open for you talking Ebola. If you caught uh, the news, if you if you watched the news this morning, you know that, that the governor of Connecticut has declared a state of emergency in the state of Connecticut about uh, concerning Ebola. Never mind that nobody in Connecticut has Ebola, but it gives, gives the governor a chance to quarantine people and isolate people whom he quote, reasonably, reasonably believes have been exposed to the Ebola virus. If we really care about Ebola or antiviral, uh, antiviral protection, if our government really cares, they would be giving everybody zinc and everybody would have magnesium and we'd all have nutritional supplements and we'd all have, uh, we would all learn how to relax a little bit or we would encourage learning how to relax a little bit to activate the immune system. Do you guys know that the immune system is activated under conditions of relaxation? Yes. That's because when we're under survival threat, when the body's under survival threat, the last thing the body cares about is protecting protection from viruses. Viral protection, bacterial protection requires activation of the relaxation nervous system, the relaxation response. So lightening up, relaxing, taking hot baths, massages, deep breathing, therapeutic touch. These are wonderful antiviral immune boosting strategies as of course is nutritional supplementation and dietary strategies. Laying off sugar is job number one. Using uh, using nutritional supplements, using the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. You can't have a strong immune system if you don't have the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients in your body. Dr. Wallach and Longevity have made it so easy to get the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients in your body if you're serious about antiviral protection, if you're serious about building the immune system. Get on the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. Get on the Healthy Start Pack. Make sure you're using the Ultimate EFAs to help build prostaglandins. Make sure you're getting zinc, which is stupendously important for building the immune system, 50 milligrams a day. Make sure you're using your Ultimate Selenium, stupendously antiviral. Maybe the single most antiviral nutrient of all along with zinc and along with vitamin C. And oh, by the way, make sure you're using vitamin C and it can be ascorbic acid. It doesn't have to be food-based vitamin C for building your immune system. We talked about this yesterday. I'm still getting letters, by the way, from people who want me to address this nonsense that's being spewed out. I don't know who, sp who is responsible for this craziness that ascorbic acid is not vitamin C. Ascorbic acid has all of the properties that you want from a vitamin. It is vitamin C. It's not food vitamin C, which is, of course, as we've said so many times, superior, but it's still, it's still vitamin C in terms of its effect in the body. And then, in addition to the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, you can use miscellaneous antiviral nutritional type substances if you're interested in protecting yourself from Ebola or herpes or shingles or flu or hepatitis or any other viruses. It's called a polysaccharide, many sugar, long sugar, long chain of sugar molecules. Something very interesting happens in the body when it interfaces with polysaccharides from fruits and vegetables and herbs. Polysaccharides, macro polychemicals, long, big chemicals made up of smaller sugar units are stupendously important for stimulating and strengthening the immune system. And luckily, they're found throughout nature. They're found throughout the plant kingdom. Our antiviral legacy is found in plants. It's found in herbs. It's found in fruits and vegetables. Throughout history, plants have represented, as we said yesterday, the most likely source of food toxins. So it makes sense. The body would respond to these plant chemicals, these polysaccharides that are found throughout plants, by upregulating immunity, and that's exactly what happens. Fucoidin, 
which is the active ingredient in the Fucoidin Z and the Z radical. That's one of the best of these immune boosting molecules. And Fucoidin Z is wonderfully antiviral. If you're really serious about protecting yourself from viruses, whether it's the flu virus 